With the large schools back in action, it's easy for some to forget about the smaller schools. However, as our Chevy Spotlight found out, the Shorthorns of Schulenburg will not be ignored. You believe? Yes, sir. You believe? Yes, sir. You believe? Yes, sir. High school football coaches are always looking for new ways to light a fire under their teams. But sometimes a motivational tool just falls in their laps. A perfect example, the Schulenburg Shorthorns. They were predicted to finish last in District 13 2A Division I. That's all it took to get a tradition-rich team riled up. I was really mad. <laughs> to be honest, I laughed with a teammate because I thought it was really disrespectful and we were just ready to prove them wrong. Oh yeah, that was definitely motivation because I know we felt that we didn't deserve that last place, so it was for sure motivation going into the season. To have the name of the Schulenberg Shorthorns and be picked last in district is something that motivates us. You know, uh, we want to bring back that tradition like some of the past coaches have done. The Shorthorns have three state titles in their trophy case. Most recently, the back-to-back -back championships in 1991 and 1992. Getting back to the title game has been eating at the Schulenberg community for years, especially the last nine as the Shorthorns have not won a playoff game since 2011. I think we're red hot and I think we'll go into the playoffs with sky high confidence. I think we'll, we'll break that streak. That's our goal. You know, our first goal was win the first game. Second goal was win that first district game. And now we want to win in the playoffs. All we're going to take is just finish strong, keep working hard, and we'll be good. Finish strong is the team motto this year, but it just as well could have read start strong. That's because Schulenberg has raced off to a 4 and one start, including an upset win over state-ranked Flatonia. New head coach Walter Brock came over from Granger, where he made it to back-to-back -back regional finals. First thing he did when he arrived at Schulenberg was scrap the playbook. It is! We totally changed our offense and our defense. We went from an a even front to an odd front defensively. And then, uh, and then offensively, we've gone to a spread and power system. We're kind of a uh, do what's best for the time and do what's best for the kids we have. He knows what he's doing. He changed programs around. And he playing people where they need to be played so the team can be successful and so they can be successful. Last year and this year, it's a huge difference from like everything. I'd say from practices to the games, everything's exciting, everything's motivational, positive. It's easy to put in the extra effort when you see the results. The Shorthorns are averaging over 31 points a game. And with a chance to end that playoff losing streak within their sights, finishing strong has carried such a strong meaning. It's not necessarily just buying in, it's just being excited. You know, the, the chance to, to be winning again and to be a part of something like that. And everyone's just buying in and being, you know, and uh, wanting to win for this town and wanting to win for this community. The Chevy Spotlight is brought to you by the Houston area Chevy dealers. Visit your nearest Chevy dealer and test drive our award winning products.